Introducing poop. What is poop? What is well? Uh, it's an idea. It's an it's a philosophy. Um, really, it's a it's an ideology that dates back to circa A.D. twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, and it's based off of the excretion from a bean. And really, it just speaks to the ideals of the morals within a society that is educating and it is uplifting the people and it is bringing down the levels of uh well i'll get to that i mean i, I have to i have to define a few terms first uh, ginger ale ginger ale is a drink and okay how's that going? This is a hat. It's a pink hat. Now, moving on. So, it's about a society, right? Early circa 1200s, 1300s, uh, one of the two. 1330? 1270? Uh, circa. AD. Colorized. Back to the ginger ale. You take a sip, right? You say that's ginger ale. Now, when you think about poop, do you know that that's poop? Remember that back to the pink hat the pink hat pink was royal in the 1200s and the 1300s um, it was seen as uh, a delicacy to eat anything that was pink back to poop what color is poop comment down below back to the ginger ale green tastes like ginger ale does it taste like pink almost back to 1200 1300 poop is an ideology right it's a philosophy now, what it comes from, what this stems from, really. Uh, this idea of the excretion of an individual being more worthy than the individual itself. Think about how, if you'd look at a machine, if the machine is equal to the sum of its parts, right? Poop is this philosophy. It's this idea. Well, it's that it. Ginger ale, right? The drink inside the ginger ale. <laughs> it's just. It's just comedic to think about that I have to explain this for you guys. So there's a drink inside the ginger ale, right? Obviously. There's the liquid inside it. You got the hat. There's no hat inside the hat. What's more valuable, right? Do we have to, uh, so I'm sorry, I'm do we need to take the air out of the hat for the air to be more valuable than the hat? Does the air need to leave this piece for it to be more valuable? Poop, according to poop, yes. Poop is actually an acronym. Um, pulling objects outward, uh, prioritize. And what that speaks to is this idea. It's this philosophy. And it, it generated, it started to circulate uh, ancient Athens, Greece, circa 12, did it 1230 or 1370 um, AD. And what it is, is it's this philosophy, right? So the excretion of an individual, um, it is what it leaves behind. The individual might refer to it as uh, unworthy, as uh, even gross, disgusting. And science may claim that it is uh, filthy, it is dirty, and it should not be engaged with, it should not be touched, it should not be uh, even really looked at. You don't want to, uh, there's an idea in society, you look at poop, and you're like, Phew. gross. You look at what's, the ginger ale inside of a, a ginger ale can. And you're like, oh, well, really, it's the essence of what the can, what the drink is all about. The drink is not about the design. It's really like the essence of it is the ginger ale inside of it. The hat. Is the hat about the hat? Or about when you wear it? what it covers 
Is it about how it expands to fit your head? How it masks your head and it's like, oh, look at this cool new thing I can do to your hair. Let me give you another example. My pinky. Is blue, the tip of it is blue. I did this for an example to show you guys. Uh, it, is, it is a cosmetic beauty. Remember that. Back to the ginger ale. That's good ginger ale. Back to the hat. Oh, I took it off. Is this important? Maybe. So 1230, right? Um, Socrates met with Plato. You know, Plato was a student of Socrates. And uh, Aristotle too, actually. He was just like five, six years old at the time because they're pretty, you know, they're pretty far apart. And they were talking about this guy and his name was Obama. And uh, Obama, of course, wasn't alive yet. <laughs> Obama's from now, right? You think he's way far back. How do they know about Obama? Well, the funny thing is there's a lot of things we don't know about Obama. Um, we don't know where it came from. We don't know what his last name is. And we don't know um, what we don't know about him. Isn't that interesting? You know what's also interesting? The pinky, right? Boom. It all connects. It all makes sense. Polling outward, outstanding properties. Think about that. I'm not even going to talk about it. We're just going to move on. Um, I don't think I should have to explain that. Now, Socrates, Aristotle, and Plato were all in a room. And Plato had to go. Uh, take a number two. And Aristotle and Socrates were like, okay, let's come with. And that was the start. That was the start of it all. When they, when they looked and they saw, whoa, it's not just poop. It's a part. It's a part of us. Let's break that down. Ginger ale, right? Famous drink. Socrates uh, loved it back in the 1200s drink it a lot. And he spoke about Obama. Boom, it's covering the head. Where is the essence of a hat? Is the essence of a hat here, the center? Is the essence of a hat in the center of its inside? Or is the essence what it's covering? Is the essence the new identity that it gives to your head? Let's look at poop. What are the practical uses of poop? Let's break it down and it, like, as one would give an argument for hemp, uh, marijuana, drug legalization, uh, as one would give an argument for any political view, as one would give an argument for any religion. If you want to argue about religion, I hope people don't argue about religion. I hope they have civil discussion. But uh, I rest uh, those points aside. What was I talking about? Poop. The practical uses of poop. Circa 1200, 1300, um, it was discovered um, by, uh, well, really Aristotle and Socrates. Um, really, it was Aristotle first. He was like, what is that? And then Socrates was like, oh, I think, therefore I am. And then Plato, Plato was like, oh. Then he noticed it too. Um, but it was really Aristotle. I'm getting off track. Practical uses of poop. Let's break it down. And I think this can be broken down into... Four parts, one for each letter in the word, right? First of all, <laughs> it's a paperweight. <laughs> it has a weight. Boom. It has a mass. Let's look at that. It has a mass. What can you do with something that has a mass? Well, put it on one end of a scale and compare its mass to another ma object's mass. And I think if... Uh, science could take a greater look at the composition of, uh, of excretion. There could be a lot to be found. There could be a lot to be discovered. Uh, there could be a lot to be learned. Okay. P. Part solid, part liquid, uh, part gaseous, part even plasma. The P's for plasma. The plasma within poop. 
The Obama administration tells us there is plasma within poop. They could be lying. They have lied about a lot of things, including his alleged last name. But it's, we have the facts. The facts have been presented to us. Uh, and life is all about discerning them. So we have that. The O. Ovaries. What do I mean when I say ovaries? Well, think about the ginger ale. The ovaries represent a woman about to give birth, give life, right? And if you think about the poop, it is the opposite of life. It is the end of a life cycle. That's incredibly unique. That's the thing. It's unique. I think the O, really, like it's ovaries. But then the other O is, oh, like, oh, that's poop. Like, that's poop right there. Like, when you hear poop, you smell poop, you see poop, you can taste poop. Um, you can, well, okay, we won't talk about that. That's gross. Um, but you can sense poop. And you're like, oh, that's poop. Few things in this world you can sense and you can be like, oh, I know exactly what that is. Like, that immediately, that punctures my senses, that gets at me, that gets at the core of me, hat gone, that gets at the core of my head, and that contacts me, and that's like, poop, right? And the last one, I'd have to give it to potty. If it weren't for poop, the potty industry, the toilets, gone, like, absolutely decimated. Who would use toilets if we did not have poop? And that is my final concluding statement. That is where I'm going to leave it. These are the facts. I can't do anything about this. We're living in a world with toilets. What would we do about the toilets if there was no poop? That's a whole industry. How to get here? What would we do if we didn't have poop? And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm, that's all I'm trying out here to say. Um, your homework will be Memorize the acronyms for poop, all three that I used. Memorize the dates. Memorize the story with Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates, and the quote, I think, therefore I am, and how that played into it. And then um, do some research on the Obama industry. I will see you next week, students. And uh, uh, make good decisions, make good choices, uh, and don't be late for class. You are dismissed.